this particular amazing group of teachers and students are exactly who we want to have as a part of this project. Their imagination, their commitment to community, the flexibility of the teachers, and the atmosphere that Atlanta Public Schools creates as we're trying to teach the whole child, the whole child, right? The idea of imagination, creativity. Um, Atlanta Public Schools was and is a perfect fit. Burgess Peterson Academy particularly. I'm a proud member of the GO team at BPA, and when we had the opportunity to dive into a school, embed in a school for a school year, it was Burgess Peterson Academy that made the most sense for us. And these second graders in particular, the flexibility of their teachers using this to support the classroom learning is just rock star fabulous. It's our third meeting with the, the students, uh, mostly from the second grade. And we've been testing out uh, ideas, concepts for our adaptation of uh, Harold and the Purple Crayon. They selected this, there's a lot of stories and we had to narrow it down so they actually voted on which stories they liked the most. They read the stories, they drew pictures. We got a lot of inspiration from their drawings of what is important, like what stuck with them. There's certain images and things that they remember that really stuck, which is part of, um, the main part of what we're trying to do is find out what the kids' view is. You know, as, as an adult, I can only assume, you know, like what's it like to be a second grader again and what resonates with them. So they've been very uh, helpful. And today we're doing a uh, narration. We're looking at the, there's a lot of narration which needs to be trimmed. We're trying to get a sense of if it's the spoken word. How does it flow? Does it not flow? Uh, what key images they pick up from just the words? All of this will be illustrated in the end, but it's helping us uh, to choose. It's basically what we're doing is getting a lot of feedback on what they think is fun or funny or what sticks what they remember over this what's been several months. Our first visit this year was back in September and then we will do five classroom visits this year plus they get to field trip to the Center for Puppetry Art so it is an all academic year experience and this we are so proud is thanks to the generosity of the Georgia Council for the Arts they're allowing us to get the tickets for the field trip for the students and teachers. They're allowing us to get book sets for all the classrooms, all the materials and supplies that we need to support this program for the year. The end piece is all the second graders are going to get a, a chance to see the show at the Center for Puppetry Arts. Mm -hmm.